I Remember by Samson B. I'm waiting for my cell door to open for association. It's 5.40 p.m. The door will open in five minutes. I've got to get some gear today. I owe everyone, but that won't stop me searching high and low for it. At times such as these, I could normally get the gear for nothing off my best mate Quazo, but he has run out. I need to come up with one of my manipulated master plans to score some gear tonight. I have an hour to do it. I'm thinking the only people that are selling drugs on the wing are Yardies called Blessed and Esco. But I've had them over so many times. But I'm still going to put in the proverbial speech for some of them anyway. After all, they fear me and might need me. I can hear one door unlocking. Two, three, it's getting nearer to me. Quick, I shout. And then clunk, my door opens. I don't charge out the door, which is unusual for me. I play it cool and just lean over the railings and start clocking everyone's movements from landing one to four. I'm searching with my eyes to see if I can catch sight of those two yardy gangsters who think they are God because they have a bit of gear. I catch eyes with Blessed who's looking up at me from the ones landing. In my best Jamaican accent, I shout down, Wagwan, come check me, Ami Bolo. This sounds promising, as he would only call me if there was something going on and gear was involved. I practically fly down the stairs and into his cell. Yo, Yami, we have a job for you, you know. Yeah, anything big done. It's a hit. But the only thing is, you know him. I don't business about that. I'm hungry right now. Escobar. Huh? How much you talking? Half ounce of brown. But me want your body up with the cooking oil. Half ounce of brown? I would murder everyone for that. We both laugh. Has to be done by Friday. Yes, big done. For sure. Give me five small ones as a down payment and it's as good as done. Yeah, man. Me give you the rest when the job done. I take the small wraps and leave. I'm sweating, excited, almost delirious. Yes, yes, I say. I'm proper nice tonight. I run to my cell and the silver foil tube is already made up for me. I throw two wraps on and then... I inhale. That familiar tilt in my brain comes. Oh, I'm a lunatic again. I charge out my door. I start running at 100 miles an hour, chatting shit everywhere. I find my way to the association room, and I notice Escobar. I don't mind Escobar. It's a shame it has to be him. Yummy boy, little calm now. I hide my shock that he's calling me. Yes, Esco. I'm thinking it can only mean more gear. I look around to make sure Blessed isn't about. We have a proposition for you, you know. What are you saying, Big Don? There's a hit on offer. Half ounce of gear. On who? Blessed. I'm taking it! I can't stand that pussy -o. When can you do it? By Friday, Big Don. Yeah? Give me five little ones as a down payment and it's as good as done. Simple things. As he passes over the wraps. I walk off. Yes, yes, I'm on a roll tonight. The great yummy bolo, I tell myself. I bang up all hyped up. But four hours later, I've calmed. I'm sad again. I wish they would lock my door and throw away the key. Because there's someone in my head, but it's just not me. I drift off. The clanging of the door opening awakens me. I have two small wraps left and smoke them. The warmness comes and then... I'm a lunatic again. Fuck it. I'm doing the hit today. On blessed. I run down to Esco's cell when he's up. I'm doing it at lunchtime, I say. Why, Yami? So quick. Me no so you are the greatest hit, man. I laugh because we both know that he's trying to boost me up even more. Lunchtime is here. And I tell Quazo my plans. I will watch your back, Yami. Save Quazo. I tell Esco I'm going to boil up the cooking oil in 15 minutes. Cool, not bad, man. I laugh. I get Quazo, and we both put on prison tracksuits and look out my door. The kitchen is up on the fours landing. I can't see Blessed. I can't see Esco. Yes, I say. They must be on exercise. 
Only a few people are around. I pass Officer Carroll. I got my eye on you, Bolo. I've always got my eye on you, Miss Carroll. We both laugh. I'm moving fast now. Half ounce of gear. My name's shining bright as the greatest hitman in history. I reach kitchen door with Quazo behind me. I open the door. I see a hand and a pot moving before me. Through fear and pure instinct. I duck. I hear an almighty scream. Ah! It seemed to last forever. I hear a whistle blow. Feet running on the landing. In days and a shock. I see the faces of Esco and Blessed before me. I turn around and my mate Quazo is burning and peeling before my very eyes. My boy, my boy, I mutter. In my mind I say, how could you have fallen for the oldest trick in the book? You fool, Yami. Someone